Um, this is the um, Satya Mandir uh, and it looks fabulous um, and it's very authentic. It does really well in the summertime and it's lucky for us we've had a good day today so we've got quite a lot of people visiting. The Sri Sanatan Hindu Mandir. This is the biggest in the Europe. We came to the right place then. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the gentleman had moved the dress and he didn't know that he had to register every time he moved the dress. And as he's the spiritual pastor of this lovely temple, he said he should be an example for the whole community, so he registered to vote. We didn't know about re-registering, so it's actually very helpful for us and to get some special forms like in um, large in large print and also in different languages. So uh, making it very accessible for everyone here to at least try and register. Otherwise you wouldn't. It was literally asking people from London what were the dominant languages they spoken in the area, what would really work. And one thing that really came out was a lot of people in Wembley Central will speak Gujarati. So uh, naturally I went on to um, our, you know, the website and I printed off the Gujarati forms. And that's really helped them I in most of the people here today have filled out the forms. It's very important, you know, all the community must vote. You know, like uh, Gujaratis, uh, Punjabis, Hindus, you know, uh, different uh, religion. They must come and vote, you know, it's very important. We take it for granted here, to be honest, don't we? We take it for granted. And now, I think, with this sort of promoting the... Uh, re making it easier for people to register, I think it's a great idea. And for, for, you know, our clients here, it's not easy for them. So... No word, no voice. No word, no voice. No word, no voice. <laughs> Even if they did know English, the fact that there were forms in second languages made them more comfortable to come along today. Um, and it was basically, you know, stressing the need to register as a community, to have your voice heard. I think that was what came across. And everyone should have a voice, everybody. Okay, so, um, and a lot of these families as well, they may not be aware of the, of the uh, you know, what, what's the campaign here. And I think it's, you know, it's, it's a very positive thing. I think it's very good. Time to <laughs> overdue, in fact, because a lot of people wouldn't know how to do it. Looking at the uh, Punjabi translation uh, and comparing it to the English one, so that if there are any words I'm not clear about or I'm doubtful about in the Punjabi language, I can clarify it now, so that when I'm helping out at the Gurdwara in, in Stag Lane, you know, I don't sort of... Uh, make it difficult for the others who are coming to vote or register to vote. Today there come many people from the mosque and they sign up and they want to vote and especially women. We tell them they will come one by one. Oh no. <laughs> Without vote you don't have no voice, nothing and you cannot complain too. Show them you are, you are living here and you are a person and you are there. No, no vote, no, no voice. voice. Benefit for you and for your family. Yeah, we grow up democracy and, and it's beautiful to have a democracy. A not so easy pass, which I couldn't make last. There's a party and a car under 